Hey, man, so congratulations on the win. Can you take me through some of the things uh, that you guys were able to do defensively to bring pressure on both the quarterbacks? Uh, the main thing is, uh, like, all week we've been practicing keeping uh, keeping the running back and the quarterback in the pocket because, you know, watching film, you know, the, uh, you know Tyler, he's, he has a history of running the ball. He can run it. He can make people miss. He's slippery. Same with the uh, running back. He can, like, he lowers his shoulder and he booms it. So that's the main thing for us and what we were trying to accomplish this week is just keep him in the pocket, make him run into his own guys, slow him down, and just get a tackle for loss. Congratulations on the win. What about today really – felt different, the energy out there and just the playing mentality really didn't seem like things even fell apart in the third quarter or anything along those lines. Yeah, that's another thing that Coach Herm, he preaches that, uh, you know, over the past recent games, as you guys probably already know, is uh, we have trouble in the third quarter. So, you know, coming out of halftime, we had to stay warm. We had to stay, you know, keep energy. You know, the fans helped us, helped us out with that a lot. And uh, we just kept pushing and pushing. And the more turnovers we got, tackles for losses, it just kept the energy going. Wouldn't feel though. It's got to feel pretty good, right? Um, yes, it feels it feels good knowing that we you know we played a very good team, and uh, we did our assignments. You know, we had some mental errors, but you know we came back and we stopped them. So having a team win, everybody you know doing their jobs, and uh, it working all together, yeah, it feels pretty different. My question is this: uh, Coach Gonzalez talked earlier this week about you guys stepping on the jugular, kick, getting them when they're down instead of letting them back in the game, like kind of happened last week. What was it about today that you guys actually did that and you, you had not been able to do that to this point? I didn't hear. I thought you were talking to them. About, sorry, you didn't answer, want to be, about you guys building on that lead, stepping on them when they're down and not letting the other team back in the game. Yeah, we, uh, we, we, we told ourselves throughout the week that no matter what, when we came in at halftime, we needed the energy to be good in the locker room. We needed to uh, be positive about everything and come out swinging. Um, Defense did a hell of a job getting a turnover. I turned the ball but right back over or else we would have been really rolling. Um, but uh, I think we performed uh, up to what we wanted to. So, As for the defensive guys, could you take me through that interception? Tyler, I think you got pressure. And then, Shari, you were able to make the pick. It looked like you almost reached early and then recovered, didn't give up on the play, and then made the pick. Could you guys just take me through that? Uh, well, the rush was great. Uh, every, everything was going fine. Then when I seen I was in the, when the ball was in the air, it was I was it was the sun was in my eye. I couldn't even see nothing. So it was just a great play by me, and it was a great play by the, the people who was rushing to, to give me my first pick. And then yeah, I don't if y'all can't tell it's his first time. Yeah, yeah, this is my first I, uh, time, so I'm kind of nervous, you know. But yeah. I actually I forgot what play we had called, but yeah, we got we got pressure because he started to scramble a little bit and he got nervous. And he just chucked it downfield, and then I turn around. Not, I, I honestly didn't even think Ashari was gonna catch it, but it's a good thing he did. I turned, and we just he made something happen. So sure, you had a couple that were close, right? Right. It's a blessing, man, because I I dropped too many. So this first one, this you know, this Manny told me too, you know, and enjoying this moment. So I'm enjoying it right now. Manny, when you were coming off the field, or after you threw the pick, when you were coming across the, off the field, it looked like several defensive players came up to you and. I mean, we got you. Okay, is that what That's they what were they saying? said. We got you. We got you. And then I was like, bet, say less, come out. Coaches got got to the sideline. Everybody was like, yo, we're good. There was no down faces. There was no um, negative energy at all. And then I think that. That's what lets this team be able to persevere at the end of the game. Does that say anything about the defense just being how young they are? Because most of the guys talking to you are freshmen. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be real special here within the next couple of years. Um, they just got to continue to to trust the coaching, um, trust what they're telling them, believe in it. When you believe in it, that's when things start to execute and, and do well. And and I think uh, they're they're really starting to get their head on their shoulders the right way and, and playing fast and playing hard and doing the right thing. Nikhil, uh, Craig Morgan from The Athletic. Uh, with, do you feel like you're more a part of the offense these last few weeks than you had been earlier, more of a focal point? Um, I mean, a little bit, but, you know, I'm, I'm not really too worried about that. You know, I just want to go out there and, and do whatever it takes to help my team get the win. You've had uh, big performances before, but is it nice to, to have one in a game with such impact, such meaning for you guys in terms of the standings? Um, yeah, you know it's nice. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just glad we came out with the win. 
Nikhil, after that touchdown, when you came out of the game, I think Arizona State fans were kind of freaking mm -hmm. out and panicking. But for you to come back and kind of have the game that you did, especially in that second half too, what was it like for you? Was that that feeling, I guess? Um, you know, I just had to kind of check myself mentally, you know, make sure I was in it. You know, I was going through a little bit of pain, but um, I knew in the second half I had to be tough. And, you know, on that last touchdown, Manny did a great job staying in the pocket. Um, he took a hit while he threw it. Um, so it was just a it was a it was a great all around performance by our offense and our defense tonight. What about you guys? The kind of performance that Nikhil had, just I mean, as a team effort, but it's pretty special to see something like that. Yeah, no surprise at all, really. That's Nikhil. That's what he does, and so um, I think you guys even know that as well. And so um, I think he, he played his role. I think we all did a, a great job of playing our roles in this game, and uh, just like Manny said, coming out and doing what we got to do to get this win. You know, Rob Warner, Sun Devil Source. There's been a lot of talk about how at the end of games, it seems like you're even better at finishing plays. What does that say about you that after you take big hits like you were in the first half, you can come out and run for a big one at the end of the game like you did today? I guess it's a mental mind state. Um, not really thinking much about the big hits, uh, just about getting up. What's the next play? What's the next call? And so I think, our, like I've always said, our offensive line does a really good job of just communicating um, off, on and off the sideline. And so um, when it gets on the field, when we get on the field, it's that much easier. Eno over here. Uh, this is one of the top five rushing defenses in the entire nation. And you all obviously were able to establish the run pretty quickly and then mix it in with the pass. What was the game plan going into this game, especially knowing how you would attack their front seven? I think we're a much more physical and dominating team than we were um, earlier in the season. And so um, we were still trying to put some pieces together early in the season. And I think now we're going, we're up and going and uh, we're, we're rolling. You guys talked a lot earlier in the year about what your goals were. And it looks like your goals are still in front of you. Am I right? Most definitely. So what have you been talking about? Because it looked like things that were going bad about a month ago and things are a lot better now. So what were you been, what have you been talking about to be able to make things uh, turn around, get you to this point? No matter what happens, continue to play and have fun. One thing we can't let uh, be taken away from us is our, is our love and our happiness for this game. And, and the reason why we play it is because we love it. Um, and so no matter what was going to happen, we we're going to continue to play hard. But now the dominoes start to fall in the right place a little bit. But, uh, you know, we can't, uh, we, we, we can't be too high off of this. We have, to, we have to go back to work, come back to work this next week with the same attitude that we had this past week with that mindset and uh, stay the course. Uh, Manny, it was kind of a breakout game today for Brandon Ayuk. I think you hit him every time you threw to him. Um, how has your chemistry with him developed to this point in the year? It's been great. Um, Brandon's one of those guys where he just hasn't had a whole lot of coaching uh, in his in his lifetime, like good coaching, I want to say, um, very detailed things. So when he's starting to really pick up the details of everything, lining up, you know, at a certain alignment, uh, taking the right amount of steps on routes and things like that, when he stops thinking, he is. I mean, he's just as any as good as anybody, you know. And uh, he works hard in practice. He doesn't talk a lot. He makes plays, and uh, he's a hell of a football player. For Manny, you know, Nikhil, um, for you guys to now go into the last three games, controlling your destiny, does this feel like the culmination of not just this year, but the last couple of years and everything, all the ups and downs you guys have gone through? I mean, he could tell you. We talk about it all the time. Um, we put too much work in um, together. You know, I've, I've worked countless hours with one. And, uh, you know, for him to have moments like this, it's very special for me because I know how hard he works. Um, I know how much this sport and this game means to him. Um, I know how much it means to him for his family. And uh, having a guy like that to be able to throw the football to, man, it's, it's very special. I got a lot of respect for him. Nikhil, uh, you took two different screen passes today and tried to reverse the field. Is that something you look at pre-snap, or is that all in the moment? <laughs> nah, it's, it's really just in the moment. A lot of the times, um, usually when I make one guy miss, the defense usually over-pursues. So. Just try to get as many yards as I can. Two more questions. Manny, as the leader of this team and quarterback especially, but how proud are you of this team and just their ability to rally and to just stay in this game and really not even look at uh, Utah being ranked and just the leadership in it? So proud. Um, I saw the look in everybody's eyes this week at practice that, that we were going to be ready to roll, and, and that started on Tuesday. Um, 
And uh, so I didn't have to, you know, come out of the locker room questioning anything. I knew that my guys were going to be ready to roll. Um, a lot of guys came up to me before the game and looked me in my eyes and said, let's go do this. And, uh, and, and, and to have that and have guys that care, that, that's, that's what I love to be around. And uh, it's just, man, it's a, it's a hell of a feeling. But we're going to enjoy this now. Um, after this little press conference, we'll probably go hang out with everybody, celebrate. But it's time to, time to get this rolling. we got some more football games to win. Anything that you guys do special to get up for a bigger opponent, Michigan State, USC? No. no. <laughs> it, don't, it don't matter who we play. Um, we got to treat every single team like they're the best team in the country. Because if you have that attitude, um, there's no excuses. And uh, that's what this team has not done once this year is make excuses. And, and uh, that's what we got to do. We just got to play football. And, uh, I mean, you guys can see we're having fun out there. And uh, that's, that's, that's the type of team you guys want to watch play. Thank you. Thanks, guys.